Hello everyone, today is a pretty exciting day that I have been looking forward to for a very, 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 very long time due to the sheer fact that I am just cheap and lazy, just those two things, mostly cheap because I'm Asian and that's cheapness just runs in my blood. However, today I bought a new knife and I'm very excited because I would like to show you it and it is right here. This is not my new knife. This is actually my old knife. So the story is when I moved in to my, well, when I moved out of my house to start my adult life eight years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. Um, this is the knife that I had, and it looks like this now, uh, because I have roommates, and roommates use my stuff, which I really don't care about, but then they don't take care of my stuff, and that's why things look like this. Um, there's no tip, the handle is broken, and as you can see, it's been sharpened into almost nothing. I mean, my dad's a sushi chef, so I'm sure he could sharpen it down to the handle if he really had to, even though he probably wouldn't want to. Anyway, so this has been in my possession for a very long time. I've never replaced it due to the fact that it still cuts. It still works just fine as a knife. It's just old and broken and disgusting looking. And besides, this actually is a full tang knife, if you can see. Full tang means the blade, or the blade, but like the entire thing is one piece and it goes all the way down to the bottom. So in the event that the handle piece broke off totally, like full tang, you could still use it. It'd be like super uncomfortable and you could like replace it, um, replace this plastic part but it still works, so like, why would I buy something new when I have a perfectly functioning knife to use? My parents did notice that the knife was not looking too good, so they bought me a new knife. But because my parents are also Asian and therefore also cheap, they bought me this knife to replace my other knife. So this knife is also full tang, but the issue is the minute I picked it up, I knew this knife was from the dollar store. <laughs> my family owns a lot of restaurants. My parents have both owned a few restaurants in their lives. You know, my uncles own restaurants. My grandpa used to be a sushi chef. Like everyone's a chef. Everybody works in restaurants because that's just the Asian thing to do. Um, and I was taught from a really young age how to cut things because I worked in the restaurant since I was seven. And I also am made fun of to this day because my cooking skills are absolutely horrendous and my knife skills are also horrendous. I'm terrible at cutting things uniformly and like julienning them really thin. And my parents tell me I'm a failure all the time because... My knife skills are so incredibly poor. Anyway, so I've held a knife in my hand for, I think I started like using knives. Like I was allowed to cut something for the first time when I was six. So here is this, or maybe I was five, five, six, somewhere around there. Anyway, so they brought me this the minute I picked it up. I knew this was from the dollar store. Um, I can bend the blade. With my tiny, weak hands, like, this is crazy. Like, you shouldn't be able to do that. And so I was using it, and first of all, not only does it not cut anything, you have to, like, saw at it in order to cut something. So it's not good for cutting anything soft like tomatoes. Um, also, it just, like, is so light and flimsy, and you're like sawing at it, which damages the integrity of whatever you're cutting. And then when you can't saw at it, you have to kind of like smack it, but the blade doesn't have enough weight in it that it doesn't go through whatever you're cutting. It is just a piece of crap. And 
I've had it for like a month or two and I'm sick of this crap and I just use the bad knife. But I'm tired of looking at the bad knife, so I want to use this one, but this one's so crappy. So I just... <sighs> And so I hatched a plan to buy my own knife and I'm going to keep it in my room so nobody can use it because I had a budget in mind and it was about $80 to spend on a knife. Um, and uh, I was at the Asian grocery store and I got a new knife. So excited. I'm gonna take it out of here so everybody can see it. I almost like cut myself. That was not good. All right. So listen, this is my new knife. Looks like this. It is a Chinese cleaver. This is actually the same knife that I have used growing up from the company Sabatsu Zuo. And when I saw it in the store, I knew it was a sign where I was just like, oh my God, it's the knife of my childhood. It's only, I think I paid like $30 for this knife. And you know, that's $50 less than what I was willing to spend. And so I'm pretty excited about it. Like it feels good on the hand. It has weight to it. It's pretty heavy compared to the other two. So I am just super, super, super thrilled. I just want to show everyone my brand new cleaver. I am going to order a cleaver case for it. So it's not just sitting like around my room with like the open blade, but I am so incredibly thrilled. By the way, I'm not left-handed. I'm just holding all the knives in the left hand so I can show you the insignias on. So cute, amazing. Anyway, so I cannot wait to use this. I'm actually not going to use it until the cleaver case comes because I don't want to wash it and dry it and leave it in the dish drying rack and have one of my roommates come and be like, oh, a new knife and totally ruin the knife because this is my special knife and I am so, so, so thrilled. Ah! Here is a comparison of the three knives um yeah you guys if you have not used a chinese cleaver it is an all-purpose knife it is not meant just for meat really great for cutting vegetables and julienning things too but here is the um the progression i feel like i'm gonna drop one of these on my foot and i'm gonna be very sad honestly this is like my joy right now i am just so excited i cannot believe i own this it was between this and another model the one with like the hole in it but i figured that the hole would get things stuck in it i don't really need it so i got this one this was actually the more expensive version of the knife as well and i just i have no words i am so incredibly thrilled I'm just gonna rip the sticker off that says sharpen to this line. There you go. So you're not supposed to sharpen like past the chrome relief. But um, I feel like I'm gonna be dead before I get there, to be honest. Like there's so much sharpening surface. It's just so thrilling. I don't know. I'm just so excited. I cannot wait. I am so in love. I haven't used it yet, but I used this growing up, so I know that, I know exactly how this knife performs, and I know what to expect out of it, so it's going to be really great. And also, the only difference, too, with this one is when I was younger, the this part was black, and I think this one is much better made than the one that I used when I was a kid. It has little finger indents, very, very chic. So excited. All right, so that is pretty much my video today before I just spend more time being like, I love my new knife, I love my new knife. <laughs> Here it is. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.